Today we're going to talk about Kirchhoff's laws. First one I'll talk about is Kirchhoff's current law, which is also called Kirchhoff's first law or KCL. Kirchhoff's current law says that the sum of the currents going into a point in a circuit should equal the sum of the currents going out. First, let's see how this applies to a series circuit like this one. As you can see, we, in this circuit we have two ammeters, three resistors, and a battery. The, these two ammeters will measure the same amount of current according to Kirchhoff's current law. We could also place them anywhere else in the circuit and they still measure the same amount of current. Here's how Kirchhoff's current law applies to parallel circuits. As you can see here, we have a parallel circuit with a battery, three ammeters, and two resistors. So, according to electron flow, current will flow from this side of the battery, the negative terminal, and it will go through this ammeter, and then it will actually split into two branches. It will go here, and it will go up through this ammeter right here. Now, the current across these two resistors is not necessarily the same. It depends on the value of the resistor. If the values of these two resistors are the same, then the current across them will be the same. However, the value that these two ammeters show will always add to equal what this ammeter shows. Here's a practical implementation of Kirchhoff's current law in a parallel circuit. Here we have a 1.5 volt battery. We know the current going through the entire circuit is 2 milliamps and we know the value of R1 is 1 kilo ohm. Using Ohm's law, we can determine that the current going through R1 is 1.5 milliamps. Then, according to Kirchhoff's current law, we know that the current going through R2 is 0.5 milliamps, because 1.5 plus 0.5 is 2 milliamps, which is the total amount of current going through the circuit. Then, using Ohm's law again, we can determine the value of R2 is 3,000 ohms or 3 kilo ohms. Now I'm going to talk about Kirchhoff's voltage law. So as you can see here, we have another series circuit. We have three resistors, three voltmeters, and one battery. Basically, Kirchhoff's voltage law says that if you add up the voltages that these three voltmeters show, making sure to take into account polarity so that you don't end up with a negative number, and then you subtract the supply voltage, you'll get zero. Stated formally, this means that the sum of the voltages across all resistances equals the supply voltage. Kirchhoff's voltage law is even simpler to use in a, circuit, a parallel circuit like this one, where you have a voltmeter that's measuring the voltage across all the resistors. Uh, so all you need to do is subtract V1 from the supply voltage V, and you'll have zero. What this also means is that the voltage across each resistor in a parallel circuit is the same. Kirchhoff's voltage law is also called KVL or Kirchhoff's second law.